What's good, YouTube? What's going on? I'm broadcasting in New York City, New York, Bro Brooklyn. All right. I can't see my face right now because of the sun. I mean, my okay, my screen. All right. Anyway, welcome back. Welcome back for all the viewers watching. We're in New York. And <clears throat> what people tend not to, what, what people don't, um, don't realize is that humanity has the potential of God-like super power. And by design, the system is created this way from the beginning, from the bottom to, to the top. All right? Now, you can think, on, think of it on many levels, of what I'm saying. But it's designed to keep you dumbed down, as you all know, as the spiritual community knows, is that it keeps you dumbed down in, a, not in, in sleep, in away, in, in away from the truth, when the truth is in plain sight. And my boy, my God, I'm speaking on behalf of all people on this earth, all right? We have infinite potential and humanity is gifted in by the grace of God, which we don't understand. I'm not saying we as in myself, because I understand it, but we as a collective don't understand the powers of the unknown or the supernatural. And we've been taught from birth and all the way up to you, where you are at now, in your age, or your earth cycle years, whatever. We've been taught that you should not, you should not go into those, those types of thinking, or that practice, or that spirituality, or that's evil, and that's, that's not right, or that's wicked. You shouldn't do that, you shouldn't touch that. And it's the unknown, and people are afraid of the unknown. And I've noticed and learned a lot about myself over in this area. You know, over here in New York. And I notice that I have been granted and gifted the powers to manipulate my own element, which is my birthright gift. The grace of God. I'm a fallen angel. A new a Nephilim. A Nephilim. All right? I know my power. I know who I am. And also a star seed Syrian from um how you say the uh my, my uh my my skin, my you know, as far as my, my uh ancestry go. Uh, serious, like Atlanteus, I mean Atlantis, you know what I'm saying. But what my point here is that we have infinite potential, but yet it goes to waste because we don't know how to use it. And I've been practicing and training every, every, every day or every so on, you know, in my days of, of uh, you know, trying to develop my power more and more. But the problem here is that What's going on now with this COVID-19 bullshit, which is all a scam and lies, this is my main point exactly of what people are, how people think. Not everyone, but the, the majority. Or some, I'm just going to say some. We don't like to say, oh, everybody's the same way because of everybody, you know. But what I'm saying here is, is that the point I'm trying to make here is that everything we've been taught has been a lie. And there's so many people that believe in the lie, and they believe it with all their heart and faith, and, and 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 you know, their their mind, and they think they're right. But tell me this: How come I created a storm by my own energy that I manipulated, and the energy around me, and then I come back the next day, and people don't believe any words that I'm saying. When I demonstrate my powers, I show them a YouTube video or whatever, they still are not believing in what I'm saying. And what I'm saying here is the truth. Yet people still they don't accept it. And that's the fucking problem with this world that we have. We have so much potential, but we don't do it. I know my potential is infinite. My life number path, my life path number is number 10. Alright? And... I've seen a lot of shit go down, 
And number 10 means infinite potential. It has infinite potential. I have infinite potential. You know, I'm very spiritual. I've seen a lot of shit. I can go break it down and break it down, but it'll make the video longer. What I'm saying is that you have to use your potential if you are given the powers and the responsibility of the powers that you are given. And if you are given powers and you don't use it, just like if you have talent, but you don't use it, it's going to be a waste. It's going to be waste. And then your life will just be like for nothing. I've seen the truth. Been seen every time. I even say I'm the truth. I'm the way. I'm the light. Because in Jesus, the story of Jesus Christ is that you are the Christ. You are Jesus Christ. You follow the path. You are one of him. Or one that be, you know. It's the path of righteousness. And people think they're on the right path of righteousness. Yes. All paths lead to the same destination. But we're so, even myself, and I'm just going to put this out there because this shit's crazy too, what I'm saying. But we're on the, we're on, we're on, we're, we are on one path, we're on the same path. No, no, no. Let me, let me switch it up. We're all on different paths, but they lead to the same, they lead to the same destination. And what I'm saying is that people take longer than others. Some are fast, some are slow. And some are telling you to hurry up in a sense and some are telling you to slow down the ones telling you to slow down are the ones that telling is the people that don't want you to wake up and the ones that they don't want you to use your power to change reality to change the world to make it a better place to be the different and see the different the ones telling you to, 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 to hurry up is the one like me I'm the one telling you come on get it get it together hurry up wake up you know but the ones slowing you down is the oppressors, the oppressors. The ones instead of fucking talking about COVID-19 or, or the virus or, or, or 5G, all this bullshit they're throwing at us. They're the motherfucking ones. And that's why I don't fear no man. No nothing. Because I've experienced death myself. And came into the light and said, wow, this is nothing I've ever seen before. And it's beautiful. It's nothing I've ever seen before. But I know, I, I remember it. And because I remember it, it gets that fear out of me. And I'm not fearful of anything. I might get I might get startled because of you know a loud boom or something, but you have to control. It's called self control. And it's called standing in your own power. When you tuck your gut and you you, 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 you get me tighten your abs and you hear a fucking car crash, you're not gonna you're not gonna be scared. And that's the, that's dealing with the solar plexus, which is empowerment, self empowerment. All the chakras have a have everything to do with reality and how you're supposed to be and your strength, your power. And the, the, the third eye, most importantly, people's third eye, some are open, some are not open. The third eye is the eye of truth. When you see the truth for what it is and you see the truth of reality and the truth of life and existence and universe and God and everything. And Christians and all these religious people say, oh, well, well, oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> I ain't knocking none of that. But at the same time, I'm going to knock it off off your head. What I'm saying here is if you don't have your third eye open, you're never going to see the truth. That's the point blank bottom line I'm trying to say here. So, with everything going on now, with, with, with society being the way society is, they're never going to see the truth until something which is the time now is to work on yourself and to get into that chakra alignment in your higher self which is the crown chakra, which is the coronavirus, which is the crown which is entering your, your your godhood, which is tapping into your higher self, your higher nature, instead of being your lower self and your lower nature, you know, and seeing the truth for what it is. It's opening your eye. All right? That's it. That's what I'm saying. Either you're going to wake up or you're going to stay asleep. And the new paradigm is already in place. And it's, 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 it's evolving. It's, 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 I'm not going to say it's evolving. You know what I'm saying? It's showing more of itself every day. And the only way you're going to be able to see it is if you keep working on yourself and working on yourself and working on yourself, getting more in tune, practicing your abilities, staying focused, stay true to yourself, stay empowered, uh, stay strong, stay focused, um, concentrate on yourself, or work on the things you have to work on to, to build yourself into a better state and your your, your vibe, your, your aura, your positive energy, and, 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 and raise your vibration. And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? All of that. 
You need even more. See, because when this, when, this, when, this, when we see this, this dimension, really fully see it, which is here already, but your third eye must be uh, fully open, and all the, you know, all the spiritual things that they have to do with, like Kundalini and everything, or you know, chakras, everything like that, crown chakra open, your higher self, all that, all that. Once you, once that is done, once you've done the work and you're still doing the work because you just love it so much, you're gonna see the new dimension. And it's it's in, it's here in front of our eyes. That's why I keep saying the truth is in plain sight. Because you have to open your third eye to see it. It's the eye of truth. So you just gotta stay focused on your shit. And and stay true to yourself. And stay elevated. Stay positive. Because all of this stuff here, they call it, they talk talk about wear a mask, COVID nineteen, all this bullshit, five G. It's fear tactic to keep the masses to keep the masses uh dumbed down and things. And keep them in fear, control, and uh, and and separation. So they won't be able to see the light, or what they won't be able to see the fifth dimension. Fuck it, I can say the fourth dimension. They wouldn't still think. That's what I'm saying. These people out here, they think they're so spiritual, but prove to me in yourself. If you haven't proved to yourself already, then you can't prove to me. I prove myself to people; they still wouldn't believe me. That's how that's how fucking deep this shit gets. I have mastered my abilities in the air, they fucking showing people shit, and they still wouldn't fucking believe it. That's why this fucking shit makes no sense. Huh? It's just, it's like frustrating and depressing. Because, like, what's the point of even trying to fucking prove to somebody something that they don't even fucking believe in it? When they ask, I even ask them, you want to see something? And say, okay, yeah, sure. You know, but not everybody's like that at the same time. But there's certain people like that. So that's what I'm saying here too, also. In this video, I'm going to name it whatever, I guess, whatever it is that I'm talking about. But know this, all right? This is the, this is the last thing I'm saying. I might type some more shit um, in, the, in the description. If you have eyes, you can see, all right? If you have ears, you can hear, you can listen. If you have a heart, you can understand, you can feel, all right? Human nature, all right? Knowing yourself is the key. All of this stuff has been the key. Ancestry taught you that. If you get it, you get into your ancestors. You know all that stuff there, and you keep on going up. But last two, last things I'm about to say here. Once again, final, final word. The power is within. All right, it's all within. I'm learning on creating my reality, consciously creating my reality. I'm shifting into new realities, like consciously. I'm noticing how I'm doing it, and I'm, I'm, I'm developing my, my, my. My 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 uh my shifting, you know, shifting my consciousness or shifting in parallel realities because we're really dealing with like a fourth dimensional um reality we're dealing with. But you, when you see it and you're conscious in the reality, you can see this stuff when you wake up more and more, and that's what it has to do with working on yourself every day. So you can see more and more of the new reality that's coming in play, which is the fifth dimension. We're in the fourth dimension. Now it's the fifth dimensional reality that's taking place that we have to really see, really see. And only those who can see it will be able to, 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 to match the vibrational frequency or some sort. You know, I'm not going to say too much, but when it happens, it happens. All right? My time is up. Thank you all for watching. So listen, the boy is out. Hope it made some sense to clarify some things and, you know, touch on some things that you guys are thinking of or had some questions about. Any questions, comment below, just, you know, anything like that. All right? I'm here. And uh, I'll get back to you when I can. Um, working on things here in New York as, as well as my spirituality and uh, mind over matter, all that. Everything is, 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 is in all areas I'm working on. One thing at a time, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. All right. Peace. Love y'all. One. I'm out. All right.